the Code of Criminal Procedure lays out specific responsibilities for doctors, medical facility directors, and law enforcement agencies upon discovery of a dead body. These are important to know because criminal penalties may apply if the responsibilities aren't fulfilled in accordance with law. First, a law enforcement agency notified of a death requiring an inquest shall begin its investigation immediately or as soon as practical. Next, and very importantly, except in emergency circumstances, a peace officer or other person conducting a death investigation may not move the body or any part of the physical surroundings of the place of death without authorization from a justice of the peace. Now, up until this point, the Code of Criminal Procedure has covered only procedural law, which, as you remember, is different from substantive law, say, found in the Penal Code. Procedural law is how we do something, and substantive law is what you can and can't do. There's an exception to every rule, though, and for the first time in our studies, we find substantive law located in the Code of Criminal Procedure. The Code of Criminal Procedure states, a person commits a criminal offense if they move a body or disrupt the physical surroundings of a death scene without the permission of the Justice of the Peace. This offense is punishable by a fine of not more than $500, so it's essentially a C misdemeanor. Next, since the Justice of the Peace is the one who must conduct a death inquest, the Code of Criminal Procedure states a person, including a peace officer, who intentionally or knowingly hinders the entrance of a Justice of the Peace to a premises where a death occurred or a body is found, commits a B misdemeanor. 